Once you have the server file in place for LDAP, you can create an authentication profile that Panorama will use to verify administrator's credentials against your LDAP servers. You create authentication profiles under Panorama Authentication Profile. I've created this one called LDAP Auth Profile. Under the Authentication tab, you use this drop-down list for type to select the type of server for the profile. I've chosen LDAP for this example. When you choose the type, the drop-down list for server profile will show you the LDAP server profiles you've set up. That's why you need to set up your server profiles before you try to configure any authentication profiles. I only have a single server profile configured for LDAP. This information for login attribute, password expiry, user domain and username modifier allow you to modify how Panorama will send queries to your LDAP servers. And these settings are dependent on how your organization's LDAP servers are configured. Under the Advanced tab, you use the Add button to include specific LDAP users or groups that are allowed to access Panorama. Panorama will only query LDAP servers to validate an administrator's credentials if that user is included in the Allow list. The example I've set up here has all users from the LDAP domain but you may want to narrow the list down for groups that have access to Panorama. The account lockout options allow you to specify the number of consecutive failed login attempts by a single administrator and the amount of time you will lock that account out with the number of failed attempts is reached. In this example, the values are set to zero which means that Panorama will not lock any administrator's account out no matter how many failed attempts occur.